Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are heading to the second island of the story mode. Last episode, of course, we explored Island 1 or Site 1, Future Utopia Island. Now we're heading to Site 2. Let's go for it. Whoa. Wee, it's like I'm right there with you, Agent 3. Yeah, this is pretty cool, just going through the tube. To your right, you can see the mysterious fuzzy rocket in the distance. Huh, that's a new sentence. We're almost there, get ready. Cozy and safe factory. I have a feeling that might not be true. Hmm, the second site has a lot going on, doesn't it? Whoa, Agent 3. I'm getting a strong reading from way up there. Could it be Gramps? Let's go check it out. Okay, well, let's definitely go and take a look at that. But we have a whole island to explore here. Cozy and safe factory. And it looks like there is this stuff all over we'll need to take a look at and investigate. So we don't have a ton of orbs at the moment, but we can hop in here and sort of take a look at what we can reach. Oh no, wasn't done. And it looks like down this way, there's a couple of levels. There's, there's a bunch to do. So let's get to it. We don't wanna waste too much time, right? And check out our first level right over here. This is going to be, yes, let's go. Twirling, swirling, and whirling. Navigate rotating platforms. Uh, to reach each goal. Hey, a little buddy found something. It'll have to wait, because we gotta hop into our first level right over here. Okay, so here we are. In this mission, you will navigate your way through a gauntlet of spinning objects to reach the goal. So we have our hero gear to start things off, get 1100 for surviving this one, so definitely worth doing. And let's go. So navigate rotating platforms to reach the goal. Uh, heads up, Agent 3, we've got a spinning Octarian. Can I get onto the back of that? I'm not sure, it doesn't look like it, okay. So, we're moving forward, nothing really I can climb or do anything there, so. So far, it seems pretty simple. We're just moving forward, getting done what we can. I'll toss you over there. There we go, so that one's got a shield. Is there anyone to sneak behind it? I don't even need to, because I got the power of distraction. On my side, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I was trying to look over the side of the platform to see if there was anything. Whoops, okay, that is not what I had intended to do. Um, it's okay though, now I know. I, I will not make that mistake again. Gotcha. But we do know that we can just uh, hide behind this thing, toss our buddy over there, and get him splatted. And we have our thing charged up, so should be good to go. He's so happy. All right, let's go this way. Huh, oh, I heard one, and I saw the shadow of another, so there's definitely some Octarians coming up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't wanna mess with that just yet. I do need that armor though, so while you're all used up, I'll hide out for a moment. And I might toss you, no, little buddy. Hold on, try that again. Gotcha, come on, and there we go. Much better. So I had one little mistake, but now we're picking up the pace. Those Octo Snipers are a problem, but we got the Trizuka, uh, which I was going to try to, you know, maybe I can cancel it, I don't know. Uh, ah, darn. Yeah, I don't know if I get another one or not. <laughs> that was not a good spot to use it. I was just getting fired at and I sort of panicked, but that's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. For right now, I don't need the Trizuka. I can find my way through on my own. Uh, oh, that whole thing is spinning. Yeah, looks like it. I'll get up here though. And was there enemy, any enemies on this one? There's not, but there is some stuff to grab up here, just some extra armor for now. I wanna toss you over there. I missed, which is not good. Those Octo Snipers are gonna be a big problem now. Get them quick. Ooh. And then there was a few more guys. Another Octo Sniper. And you. All right, that was a little crazy, but I think we're at the end. Once I grab this, yeah, we can get over to the end bank. Ready and jump. There we go. See, I made a couple mistakes, but we ended up losing one life, which isn't too bad. Mission complete. That's gonna be 1,100 orbs for us, actually 1,110. And we're back. So, twirling, swirling, whirling, completed. Hey, your little buddy found something. Okay, now I can help you out with this. So, yeah, what's the deal with this one? I think I need to throw you into it. And we got it, it's just gonna be some extra points, but I'm glad to get them. So yeah, like I said before, let's take a look around. We got uh, Callie to talk to over here. Hi, hey, Kelly. Who's got pointy ears and some extra power eggs for you? This girl. All right, cool, thank you. I, I think. 
Did you give them to me already? Agent two says she can look at spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. It's like a superpower. We've read that one before. So I'll start tossing our little buddy around and see what we can find around here. Sometimes it's just gonna be extra levels or ranks or whatever. And sometimes it'll be full rewards. So both are good and spend 400 right there. Ooh, okay, that cleared out a good chunk. And here's another level waiting for us right up this way, which I'll focus on in just a second. But while we're running around, it, it's a good idea, I think, to sort of like check some things out. How about this one? Another 400 for us, we can afford that. There's more on this side, but I don't think I'll have enough. Oh no, I might. All right, did you find something? Oh, somewhere. Where? Uh, Right here, right? No? I'm not really sure. He was making noise like there was something, but we can always find it later for right now. Yeah, let's grab this. This is going to be another decoration for our uh, locker. I don't know what that is supposed to be, to be honest with you. But this one's gonna need 400 and I can afford it. Very cool. We'll get another upgrade point. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I see it too. Nice. Some more power eggs. That's another 100 for us. Is that enough? You gotta get rid of this one. If I would, it would have been if I didn't miss. There we go. See, lots of areas just cleared out like that. Is there anything going on on top of this one? There has to be, right? Oh, definitely. Oh, we got a level up here. Didn't even realize. So what level is this? This is tread heavily. Reach the goal using the crab tank. I would love to. Now we gotta go back and try some of those other levels. Okay, tread heavily, reach the goal using the crab tank. In this mission, you will master the use of the crab tank to reach the goal. Get 1,200 as a reward, which is good because I'm using up the last of my power eggs to even get into this level. Let's go. So, here we are with the crab tank. This thing is so cool. Use ZL to cur curl up into a cute crabby ball, and then you can roll around and climb up the wall. Okay, so I'll try to get rid of some of these guys. Hold ZR to do rapid fire shots. Fire a little crabby cannon. That was good. Now I gotta clean these ones up. It'll hold up against attacks from the front, but it's not invincible. All right then, so I have to be careful of her behind then. Did I not hit them all? Oh, I didn't get that one. Or that one, or that one, or that one. <laughs> okay, nice, you spotted all the spot switches. We're so proud of you, Crab Tank. Uh, I bet there's some cool bad guys behind this wall. Crab Tank's about to, uh, wait, what? All right, what do we do here? Whoa, this thing's huge. Can I just destroy it? It's walking. Whoa, watch your step, pal. We're, we're crab walking here. All right then, so try to break more of these targets. The range is pretty big. Okay, not big enough for that. So let's get a little bit closer. There we go. And as we fire more, the farther they head out. Uh-oh, he's firing missiles at me. But those are definitely not gonna reach me. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to reach all that all the way up there. Doesn't look like it, right? Wanna get a little bit more? Huh. But you know what I can do, maybe, is get up there somehow? I'm a little confused on what we're supposed to do at the moment. Let me go this way. And we'll roll around real quick. It's it's a little slow going. Uh, while you're rolled up in a bowl of CL, press B to do a short crab hop. Ooh, there we go. Oh, so I'll have to be really careful going across these as it does its little steps. There we go. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> this is so silly though, I love it. Uh, and there's quite a few more I can hit from over here, but you are my next goal. Come on, who's gonna win this one? I will. I can't hit those from here though. Huh. How am I supposed to get past all that then? I guess, wait for it to punch out again and then we need to move, move, move. Here we go, whoa, that was close. But then, I can get rid of all those and all these. There we go, that's gonna clear it out a whole lot. And I think that was actually all of it. Whoa, is that supposed to be its face? Oh, I didn't see those, weird. It takes a lot of hits. I gotta be really careful, but it will get me some extra power eggs. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so with that done, that'd be the last of the targets, right? I sure hope so. Ooh. Look, the giant fears the mighty crab tank. He's putting his arms up. Way to go, CT. Now, onward and upward. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, gotta make the crazy jump. Is there anything over there though? Why would I wanna go up that way? Oh, there's gotta be something, right? 
I gotta go over and find out. Ah, uh, wait, we know we're giving the jump. Ah, oh, come on. That was not fair. That's okay, I can make my way back like this. It had me so curious. I mean, maybe I could jump out of the crab tank and get over there, but it doesn't look like there's anything on that side. But maybe something will pop up when I reach it, you know? I don't know, but I just don't think I can make that jump. And it's probably not worth the extra effort. Let's just go ahead and finish it off just like that. Mission complete. Okay, Tread Heavily is done. We get 1,200 more power eggs for that one. And we're back. So Tread Heavily is completed. I wanna get the balloon before it goes. Ready? Got it, <laughs> nice. That's gonna be another 100 for us. So with that done, we're gonna hop right back down because there's a couple more things to focus on around here. It looks like Kelly moved up a little bit. Hey, Kelly. Uh, your hero gear is looking good, but I bet you can power it up even more. If we could find a few more of the Sardinium, that is. We have one right now, we need three to bust these open. So, can't quite do anything yet, but there is another level waiting for us where? Because we got this one done already. Right up here, of course. So, gonna run up to this one, break it open, and hop inside. Absorbency and you. Reach the goal using sponges. Let's go. So this is another one that has three weapons, but we're just gonna be using the one. Okay, here we are. In this mission, you will soak up knowledge and expand your skills by using sponges to reach the goal. Cool, I'll give it a try. Okay, so we haven't seen too much sponges in this game, but we've seen them quite a lot in the other Splatoon titles. So I'm sure we'll be able to figure something out with these. Basically, you just splat them, they get all absorbed. Okay, you can work with these sponges, fill them up with ink, and use them to your advantage. Got it? Oh, I love this song. It's such a good song to splat people to, you know? Oh, and while they're shooting it, that's sort of the thing. Enemy ink is gonna make it shrink. Okay, really gotta move here. There's a lot of enemies sort of focusing on us, but I did wanna go back a little bit. Yeah, because I missed something right over there. But I think that's all I missed on this side. But I could go back over, fill the sponge up, and take these guys on. No problem, I see you up there. Can't quite reach you. Oh, hey, I thought I got you. Ooh, look at this. We got the Tenta Missiles, that's a classic. So we'll use that one. Maybe we can see more of the opponents. Come on, there we go. Because what I can do here, as you can see, aim at a bunch of them, and those missiles will go straight for them. So they're in huge trouble now. That was really good. And it looks like I need to sneak around back here. Because I was able to focus on some enemies with the Tenta Missiles that I couldn't even see. And that's always a big perk to that weapon, or that special. Got it, and, ooh, wait, hold on. Gotta grab those. That's another 35 of them. Really good. And I think that's gonna be everything for this area. We can hop up this way and move to the next section. Yeah. All right, here we go. Gonna fill up this sponge, and I gotta fill up that one to make them sort of connect. Very cool. And maybe I can even use them as little shields. Toss it over there. You get our little buddy to help us out. And that's helping out a ton. So now I can finish them off really fast before they turn back onto me. Grab that armor for sure. And if we get a little too surrounded, we still have our slam. I don't want to use it until I really need it, but maybe I could have used it there because I, I lost my, my gear. Come on, gotcha. So we're doing really well here. Just keeping up with everything. It's only gonna get better as we climb up this sponge. Gotta make a bit of a crazy jump, but, whoa, oh no, that still hurt me. I gotta be careful of those shots. They sort of sneak up on you. They don't look like they're gonna hit you, and then they do. Ooh. Final checkpoint, here we go. So this is where things can get interesting. I'm going to toss that over there. Yep, we're good, buddy. It didn't work. Um, that's okay, because I can just slam, and boom, got him. Fill up the sponge a little bit. All right, there are a lot of Octarians in the way, but it's basically a straight to the shot to the goal. I hope. Ooh, the Trizuka again. Gotcha. I see you over there. That one didn't quite hit though, unfortunately. Um, oh, and that was the last shot I had with it, I guess. Okay, so haven't been the best with the Trizuka just yet, but everything else worked out quite well. Boom, that's another level completed. I love these ones that are high action, but pretty fast paced as well. All right, so Absorbency in you is completed. And with it, we get another 1,110 orbs. We're doing really great. I think good enough that I can backtrack a little. Toss this over here. 
and see where things are at. So, plus one upgrade point for all of that. The thing is, is that we're getting so many upgrade points, but not enough Sardinium to actually get anything. It's sort of weird like that. But I'll throw our small fry over here. And there's gotta be something. Yep, here we go, got it. And that is going to be another locker piece. I guess it's just some guy, oh, I think it's a 3D printer. Oh, that's so neat. And then the, there's yet another upgrade point. So we're getting more and more of those. I don't wanna go super deep into, you know, trying to find every single little thing just yet, of course. Anything where um, Small Fry might be able to search it out. If we see it pop up, we'll go for it, but I'm mostly looking for the bigger things like these. If we can find the Sardinium and the Sunken Sea Scrolls along the way, that's always good. But it looks like I have a couple of crates to break over here just for a couple more orbs or eggs but I think I'm getting a little too sidetracked. There is a level just clearly waiting for us right here. Let's try this one out. Proceed with caution. Splitting crosshairs, break the targets to reach the goal. In this mission, you will destroy targets as you progress towards the goal. So it looks like they want us to try the slasher burst bomb. So I guess we'll get started with that one. Yeah, look at this. Is this the one we tried before? No, it's not. That was like the... It was a different one. That one like, sort of explodes. But either way, we'll just focus on this and see how it goes. I need to break the targets to reach the goal. Not too bad. Uh, ah, that unlocked the, the ride rail, or whatever it was called. Uh, and we can, of course, ride this stuff while we're splatting, which is pretty cool. I actually forgot we could do that. There we go. Awesome. And now we're riding this one. Oh, I gotta jump for these little hoops. Jump through this one, maybe? Just barely got that. I think I wanna just try to reach these from here. Okay, these are the bigger ones, so it takes a little bit more effort to break, but we got all six of them. We keep moving, and that's gonna be a checkpoint for us. Final checkpoint already? Really, that was fast. I mean, maybe there's a lot to this one. It seems like that, that's gonna be the case. Gotcha. Come on. Got it, all right, we're good. Ah, no, oh, I was a little too focused. I guess I don't need to touch the analog stick, but I was naturally just sort of pressing it towards where I needed to go. Can I get on, please? There you go. So let's try not to make that mistake this time, right? I mean, I lost one life, not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Got it. And then, ah, oh, wait, no! I ran out of ink, this is not going very well for me. It's a little deceiving, they are not as close as they appear. Okay, that's how I actually got it, and because of that, I got myself the uh, little ring at the end, too. You need to be able to get them all, though, or it won't open up the rail for the next thing. So, that's what I missed before. Oh gosh, oh gosh, gotta be fast. Come on, I need to hit that orange one. If I do that one, it'll explode the rest of them. It's just hard to reach it. Okay, if that works, it works. Not gonna complain. All right, that's the end, you did it. I did have to retry at the checkpoint, though, unfortunately. But that's okay, we made our way through and the mission is complete. That was a tricky one, at least with the tri slasher or whatever it was, the slasher something. There's so many slashers. We get 1,600 for it though, so we definitely made our power eggs back and then some, because I only spent like 20, 30 or something. Uh, there we go. So I definitely need to spend some of these power eggs to get around here a little bit more uh, because there's a lot of areas waiting for us. So I think that there was one right over here, but I don't know how to get to that. It might be easier if I just, yeah, go over here, toss that over, and miss entirely. There we go. Why don't you wanna do that? Is that not the angle we're supposed to do this one? No, I got it this time. And it looks like, ooh, you're finding something. Where is it, where is it? Oh, right here. Yep, that's super obvious. We got it now, and that's gonna be our first golden record. So that'll, of course, make the tunes around here sound a little bit cooler. Always worth it to get all those. I wanna turn that thing on, but I do see this right here. This needs 300. We have plenty at the moment, so that's no problem. And while it's doing that, I just wanna fill up what we can. And then we're small fry at. Hey, buddy. And then there's another. So these will help us get around a lot easier. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh, okay, more power eggs. So that's 100 more of them. But we're not finding too many of the actual collectibles yet. None of the Sardinium, none of the Sunken Sea Scrolls, but we are getting at least some locker stuff. We got a little Thinking Man uh, decoration. And I can get up here, ooh, maybe there's something fun up here. There's at the least a little spot I can sp spy in on some things, but first off, 
Wanted to upgrade that. Yeah, there's still a lot to go around here before we can get to that third area over there. Uh, but what you find? Gotta be something cool, right? It is another food ticket. We got one of these last episode and now we got another one. So I'm guessing there's one of those per area, per site. Can I spray that? I cannot. So there's still gotta be a lot to do around here, right? I'd hope so. Hmm. So let's go back over. I'm gonna backtrack all the way to this side because there were still some more things over there I think I can get. Yeah, I think right up here. There's first off, this one's super obvious. I can splat this one and we get just extra power ice. Nothing too crazy with that. But with all of these little spots, there's gotta be something I can get, right? There's another level unlocked, so definitely worth it. We got this one here. This is nothing yet. Takes a lot of work to get over here. There's another 800. That's probably the last one I, get, I can do for this little section. But, ooh, it'll help me go up later. Oh, did he find something? Yes, you did. It is just more power eggs. Yeah, really not that much for collectibles so far. I mean, it looks like he's off to find something else. Hey, little buddy. Oh, here we go, what is this? That is gonna be another food ticket. So we can find more than one in one area. What about down here? We once again have a little spot where I can go up and take a look around. Obviously a lot to find as we head upwards, but on the ground, I think we still have a lot cut out for us here. So that's when I'm a little bit more focused on. Can I get anything here? It'll be 500 and I can't reach it from here. So what about this one? That one's only 100. So definitely gonna clear that out. And what about down this way? Aha! I got it, that is gonna be more power eggs. <laughs> Okay, power eggs are exciting, but when I have so many collectibles to find, it's just not what's gonna keep me excited, you know? Um, so he's excited because he found something up there. I can hear him. How am I getting up? Uh, I guess, oh, I can't do that there. You can see the little yellow part. That means I can't climb up that way. I don't really see a way to get over there. At least not right now. I might just have to, yeah, do some other stuff first. So with that being said, I don't know how much I can do over here. There is a level waiting for us, but down this way, I neglected this one. I wanna do this one for now. This is going to be the ink conservation project. Reach the goal without running out of ink. I'm really bad at that, so we'll see how this one works out. All right, here we go. Ooh, we have the range blaster. This mission will test your resourcefulness. You must use a limited amount of ink to reach the goal. Okay, so. Let's try it out. Oh no, I'm a little worried. But we can just put in 30 so that we can enter this level and get started. Let's go. Huh, guess you can't refill your ink here. So this one is definitely a puzzle of being sort of frugal or efficient. Hear that? Uh, so what do you think will happen if it, if you shoot the middle ink wheel? Whoa, gusher ahoy, sighted just ahead. So I'll do that. Oh, and that just sort of covers them for me. Very nice. So I've already, oh no, used up a good chunk of my ink and I can't get it back. Oh no. Now that's a lot of splat switches. Oh, I see. Gotta be tough to ink them all. All right, so what I think I wanna do here instead of inking them all is just ink some of them by doing this. That's gonna roll over, hit another one. Oh, and that's gonna be a whole chain of events. So it's probably a way to do this and all, like make it all happen in one go. But if this works, I, I don't mind if it's not perfect, you know? That should be every switch, and it is! But there's still more waiting for us down this way. So what can we do with this thing? Clearly, I need to hit that. So this is just a test of aim and a test of timing, which we did pretty well. Uh, they never stood a chance. Whoa, whoa, okay, I thought it was gonna explode again. We're good, we're fine. Um, I'm gonna hop onto this. Grab some extra power eggs as we're heading over. Hopefully we're coming up on the end because I'm running out of ink. Okay, we once again have a test of timing. There we go. Oh, that was good. Nice. And that got us a bunch of stuff. After that ink wheel. And there we go, there's the end. So I just gotta run over really quickly. Come on, go, 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 go. That's gonna undo itself in a moment. No! Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Because there we go, we're almost dry. 
So next time I need to be a lot faster with it, but that was still perfect. Uh, we got 1400 power eggs for it, and it's a level well completed. Okay, so here we are back at the overworld. And hopefully we can sort of find some more ways around. We do have another level waiting for us actually right here. I might not waste too much time. Let's hop into this one, switching things up, hit the spot switches to reach the goal. Oh, and this one's also another one with just one weapon to use. All right, so in this mission, you'll be playing hide and switch to create a path that reaches the goal. Okay, so we get 1,200 for this one. Hopefully we can make it work. So hit the spot switches to reach the goal, and now I have as much ink as I need, which is nice. So here's one of the switches. Uh, hey, come back, Power Egg Pack. Yeah, I can't reach it. What am I supposed to do about this? Wow, that entire block just took off, huh? Yeah, oh, no, okay, I can go, I can go. But that means I can hop down here, whoa. Yeah, this thing has a little bit better range than what we're used to. Whoa, whoa, okay. Aha, inking those splat switches will send a block off to join its friends. So I will definitely need to do all of that. So we'll have to look around for any switches that might be available. Like, does this block have a switch? So far it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I guess not. But there might be more around. I'll have to look for them. Like this one. So what happens if I, can I join it? No, I, okay. Uh, Hold on, let me go back up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there. Luckily that wasn't the case, but could have been close. For right now though, we just wanna climb up here. No problem. Get all those and there goes another one. See, I can't go with those. That's not really the point. Oh no, they're on the ceiling. We got them. Ooh, we got you, you're one of the ones that take a little bit more hits. I don't think we've missed anything just yet. I was trying to keep it that way. Hmm, oh no. So we don't have small fry this time, but we do have that, and that didn't do much. Okay, uh, okay, you're out of out of stuff. Go for you. That was good. Did we miss any? Because that's gonna go off, and then, well, there's stuff over there, but what's up here? Oh. Okay, it's looping around just in case I missed one, I guess. Good to know. Well, for right now, I'm just going to hit that. What did that do? Um. Okay, well then I surely missed something then, right? I guess so, maybe I should backtrack. I'm a little confused by that, but that's okay. We'll figure something out. There must be just like a, a couple of hidden blocks or something. What is that noise? Is oh? I don't know what that noise means. Huh. I'm not seeing anything else, but there's gotta be something somewhere. Like maybe under this? I'm not seeing a way to get under. At least, oh! Here we go! There's one I missed! A oh, nice hiding spot, tricky switches. So I really gotta be looking out for that little purple mark. But that's heading back over there now. And then there was one. So I really did not do as much as I thought I did. How did I miss this one? Oh, I think I hit the one under it and just sort of assumed. There, that's all of them, right? I think so. So now we have to head back over this way. Aha. I'm so silly. Oh, I did so much more than I ended up doing. But before we go up there, don't forget hold B while swimming. You do a squid surge. Uh, you heard her, surge on up there. I will in just a moment. I just wanted to check to see if there's anything extra around here, which it doesn't seem like there is. So you can do squid surge just to go up really quick. That's awesome. And with it, we get a bunch of bonus points. Yes, we got the power eggs, and now we can complete the level. All right then, that's really good. So there is another level done pretty quickly, and a bunch of points for us. So now might be a good time to look around a little bit, because we've gotten that one done, and this one. I definitely wanna try to get as many of the ones on the ground finished before I move on to climbing up and getting the levels done up there. That was a mess, that's okay, because I'll get it right here. There it is. That'll clear out all this goop and I can just climb up this way no problem. Is there anything to get though? Looks like small fries looking around, but not finding too much yet. 
That does make me a bit curious, because yeah, this is one of the things I was struggling to get up before, but now I can make the jump no problem. And is this gonna be another? Uh, no, it's a sunken sea scroll. Got it. So this is sunken sea scroll number five for the inklings and octolings at the Splatlands. Aggressive action is the best way to make a splash in the local scene. The youths will often dress themselves in the style of a delinquent or hooligan to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Whoa, so we got some documentation, of course, on the octolings and inklings. Pretty cool. So glad that we finally got one of those, but it looks like our buddy has something for us to find. Is it gonna be another um, golden record? I think it will be. Yes, it is. So, our second golden record is unlocked. I don't think I can get up there, so that's that area cleared out pretty well. So let's check out this other side, right? Is there anything more on the floor I have not completed? Oh, Callie's moved up a little bit. Hi, Callie. I was so impressed with Deep Cut's choreography. We've gotta step up our game. I'm glad they like Deep Cut, because I also like Deep Cut. And, oh, here we go, finally, another Sardinium. But with this one, I can't really use it very much uh, because we need three of them to get to the next part, or the next upgrade, I guess. But still, really good to get that. And what else do we have around here? Because I was already over there. Up here, though, there is a little secret to get. Is this gonna be another golden record? You bet it is. So our third one, which I think is all we need for the music to really start popping off. Yeah, seems like it. We got a couple more we can clear up. That's 200. And we've already been down there, so I don't need to mess with that too much. I didn't see this somehow. That is gonna be just a couple more power eggs, but 100 of them makes a huge difference when it only costs 300 to clear out little spots like this. Oh, nice. Another upgrade point and another way to get up a little higher. And I think, ooh, here we go, good job, buddy. Spawn out this one. Yeah, I guess we're good to sort of head up here if we wanted to. So I don't see too much else we can do. Ooh, here we go, that might get us another sunken sea scroll. Let's try it. Gotta go down this way. It's always good to clear out the area a little bit before we start doing the balloon stuff. Got it. Way over there. And then three more. Got him, got him, got him. Ooh, where now? How am I getting up there? Just like that. And then three more waiting for us on this side. Oh geez, it keeps going and going. I like it when it stops right where it started. There we go, so there is our second sunken sea scroll of the day. This is number seven, so we skipped six somewhere. Uh, Grisco Industries Occupational Safety Guidelines. One, keep your eggs in the game. Two, I'll try to grab one more. Could end up with one less of you. Three, sea goes dark, tide goes up, and four, ACB, always check the basket. Five, throw eggs, don't yoke around. All right, so some very helpful Salmon Run tips, which I'll be using for sure when we eventually play Salmon Run a little bit more. Um, can I do that one? No, that's a lot of uh, cost there. But there's some other ones I can take a look at, like there's this tiny one right here for only 200. And what does that do for me? At the least, it sort of clears up a shortcut, which is nice. Trying to clear up as much as this as I can, too. What will this be? It is another locker piece. This time, another speaker. And what about over here? This one is 200. It's very rainbow, though. Very colorful. And I wonder if I can reach that one up there. I don't think I can from here, but maybe around the other side? Well, this goes all the way around. But having all these shortcuts is super important. I'm glad to have them. And there wasn't any kind of level up there. So I think we really are good to hop into this and start looking around up here. Because I do have stuff up that way that I might be able to reach. Almost. I'll hop down from some of those spots, I'm sure. But what about that one? That one's 400, so I can still afford it. Things are getting pricey, but we've been keeping a good hold on our uh, power eggs. Oh, did you find something? You did, but not where I was expecting you to. Here? I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe, ah, over here. Very neat, that is going to be another locker piece. You got a decoration, is that an organ? I think that's an organ. I'm a little concerned now. Uh, there wasn't really too much on this side, but I think it was to jump over there. So we should be good. Hop back onto this thing, hop up, go over. 
and check this out. What will this one be? That is another Sardinium. And with that, we can now, very excitingly, get a new piece of hero gear. So we have a couple of lines to choose from, but which one do I wanna keep with? I think we'll try this one in the center. So, unlock access to this with three Sardinium, and that will have get splat bombs. Gain access to bombs that explode a short time after they land. I'll gladly take it. So I'll have access to this and to uh, our little buddy, I guess. Get sensor, automatically marks nearby items and enemies while you're submerged in ink. Cool. So we'll definitely have to get the rest of these too, but we are unlocking different pathways for whenever I get more Sardinium. What I'm curious about is, oh, there is a level down there I missed. So that's what I've been looking for. What levels have I missed? I don't wanna go do this last one or whatever before figuring that out. So let's see if I can't just make this crazy jump. Oh, almost. So how do I get up there? There's gotta be a way around here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, from here. Okay, well, definitely overcomplicated this one a little bit, but that's okay, because we got a lot of exploring done. This has uh, getting lost in three easy steps. I don't know if I've ever did that one back there. Either way, uh, navigate the maze to reach the goal. Let's go for it. Okay, the mission will test your, whoa, 96 gallon. Uh, offers a high attack power with long range. This mission will test your innate sense of direction. Navigate the maze to reach the goal. All right. Ooh, yeah, I remember the 96 gallon. I would use this occasionally. So we gotta pay 20 to get into this one. That's fine with me. So to get through this maze, I need to be careful, because first off, there'll be guys like you chasing me. But it looks like I can sort of cheat at this maze, right? I can just stay on top of the walls, and then I don't have to worry about it as much. Let's get you. I did see this guy over here, I'm gonna get rid of him. If I shoot this, it won't collect it for me, so there's gotta be a way to get that at some point. Maybe if there's a switch or something I can hit. Right now I'm not seeing anything, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, but I can stand on this, pretty fancy. I don't know if I need to exactly, because I could just, once again, hop on these walls. I like the music, it's very silly. Cool, I'll grab some of that, and then go for you. Luckily, they're the easiest enemies, so. Pretty used to just sort of showing up and beating them up. Got it. Still can't get that. Huh. Oh, and I do also have an ability here we haven't used too much, or I don't think at all so far in Splatoon 3, and that is this little curler. So while you're following that, maybe I could, oh no, oh no, that might not work. If I could just, there we go, distract you a little bit. That does all the work for me. I feel like maybe this is the end of the maze? What's with the computer error screens? That's interesting. There's at least a way up here, but I'm definitely not done. Is that a checkpoint? Whoa! What? The whole maze is going vertical. I was not ready for all that. Um, okay. Uh, so you have to climb back up by swimming? You have to swim all the way back? Okay, well, we'll try to do that then. Going to first off start here, because there's still lots to find and collect, really. And that's sort of what I've been more focused on, but that'll probably allow us to get whatever of those power eggs I couldn't get before. Should be able to stang those a lot easier. Okay, gotcha. I don't think there's too many more over there. Come on, ooh, I made it. Aha, so I was right. We can grab these, super easy. And there's another on that side, but I might be better off, yeah, climbing up here. And this is where this becomes a lot more important. So I might wanna, yeah, do a little jump like that. We're figuring it out pretty well. Excellent. There's still more to get up to. Come on, come on. And then from here. So it's really good that I've been splatting the, the ground as I've gone along. I might want to yep, jump up like that. Oh no, I still didn't make it. <laughs> Whoops. I think I'm fine with just doing a normal jump, yeah. But where do I go from here is the question. I guess up this way? Cause I don't know if I'm just trying to go through the entrance or what. I think so, yeah. So we'll go up here. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. 
and we got it. That was great. I don't think I missed anything. I'm looking around now, I don't really see very much. But if so, it's just a couple of power eggs. You did it, great swim. I mean climb, I mean swim. Very cool. So getting lost in three easy steps wasn't too bad. I never really felt all that lost. Okay, so there we go. We get 1,200 power eggs for that one. Really good stuff. So yeah, I need to take a quick look at the map and it looks like actually we've done pretty well with clearing up most things. There's still obviously other things waiting for us, but I, I have gotten that one. I think just well, when you get too far, it doesn't really show it to you. Yeah, until you get closer. So I want to get back onto this one so that we can get up and get over. There's still more down that way I haven't quite reached, but I can break this down. And I guess we'll just try this next level out, which is just chilling out here. Uh, unless I've done it. Soak it to me. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, reach the goal using these soaker blocks. Okay, in this mission, you must reach the goal while making skillful use of soaker blocks. I guess I'll go for this, the normal one for now. And soaker blocks are different than sponges. So let's see what we can figure out about these. These might be a new thing. Oh, a soaker block. Shoot the block and watch it, watch more blocks pop out. Whoa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's new. I don't remember that at all. So, uh, hey, careful. They shrink back down after a few seconds. Well, that's good to know, but I wanted to hop down anyway so I can grab that extra reward. Oh no, come on. <laughs> See, after a little bit, they'll probably just return them back to where they were. Try some of that. I think we might have reached our max rank there, 40. Either that, we're really close to getting rank 41. Okay, what's going on over here? Can do that, and then I can jump up this maybe? Oh no, I had to spray it some more, whoops. Come on, come on. Oh, I got it. All right, we're fine, we're fine. I don't see anything else over there. Okay, there it is, plus one upgrade. Uh, if a soaker block is filled with someone else's ink, shoot the base bot to shrink him back down. So get rid of that. Turn it back to normal, and then extend it out like this. Working pretty well. What is that? Oh, it's like grass and then a bunch of like internet cables under it, or just power cables or something. Interesting. They always make the weirdest little references with the, the background stuff. Uh, the road to victory is paved in super soaker, or in soaker blocks. Ah uh, haha, I made it up myself. Okay, so, there we go. Uh oh, I already see something. I'll have to get me behind. Can I? Oh, you know what I could do? Toss him out. That's gonna be a good distraction. Gotta go close, get him taken down. That was great. Back over here, yeah, I need to reach that. That might be where I need small fry. Come on, buddy, you got it. Is that enough, though? It's not. Um, I don't know if little buddy can do this. Oh, there we go, maybe I just didn't do a good throw. And then I gotta break this one. That'll give me another uh, whoa, 25 of them, pretty cool. All right, you can come back now. There we go. So filling that one all the way up. We're back in it. So these circuit blocks are really cool. Fun addition to the game. End of the road. Well, I want to say that so soon. We can fill that one up. And this one. Whoa. Let me get over to this first. There we go. That's gonna be a key, so we, we definitely needed to do that. And then I don't know where the source block for this one is, it's right here. So I can do that, no problem, but where am I going from there? Looks like right up here. So let me break this one really quickly. It's gonna just be some power eggs. Whoa, 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 hold on. Get up here. Luckily, it does give you a good amount of time with each block. Ah, we made it, we made it. So with the key, you can open that up and we're good to go. Uh, the way those soaker blocks pop is so satisfying. Yeah, it's almost worth letting them unpop just to pop them again. I agree. Very cool. So we're doing really good now. I gotta be careful of all this, but, whoa, can make this whole path that I can safely cross. You gotta back off, don't forget about your soaker block here. And then ready, boom, that was great, that was great. There we are, three, thank you very much. So we'll shrink that back. And I don't know if there's really too much of a purpose to filling it up like this, but we'll try it. Ooh, ooh, there is. Wait, 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 I gotta go on this side. There we go, go time, let's get out of here. Just a moment, I just wanted to grab that stuff. Okay, we're doing so good. Go, 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 I'm trying. 
There we go. We did it, we nailed it. Awesome, another mission complete. Okay, so Soka Tumi is completed, and we get a whole bunch of power eggs for it. So, what else do we have going on around here is the big question. Um, I think that, yeah, down that way, we need to plop down, and boom. And that is going to be, ooh, looks like we got some more of the uh, table turf battle cards, they're called. Glad to have them. I did not, no, I did see that, but I, I didn't have a way to get to it before. Now I do, so we'll get that in just a moment. But first off, we have another Sardinium, which is great to have, but unfortunately, I can't quite use it right now. So you know what, I think I'm gonna have to hop down anyways. Might as well go check this out. That is just some more of the uh, Power Eggs. 400 for this one, though, isn't too bad. Ooh, and there's gonna be another thing. What will this one be? It is another Sunken Sea Scroll. This is number six. The lobby I've built doesn't have a single standout feature because everything in there is feature worthy. If you don't have the greatest turf war experience ever, I'll eat the smaller of my two claws. Glenn Fiddler, president and CEO. Whoa. I love this little, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so that's an interesting new character. I don't see anything else more we can do up here, so I think we're gonna get back over there and try out the next level. Because I still can't quite afford this. We need 2,000 for that one. But I think we've cleared out all the other areas. Maybe there's like one or two more up there. But beyond that, we've been doing great through this section. I feel like it took us a lot longer to get through the first site. Obviously, we were still trying to figure out how everything works. But now that we know, we're zooming through. Okay, we're up here. I need to hop onto this one. Up this way, I got that level done. Yeah, it's just this thing, which it does require a thousand, so it's pretty pricey. But with that done, fill that out. I don't see anything down there that we would need. If only we could climb ladders, that'd make this all so much easier, right? But this might be, whoa, wait a minute. Is this a boss fight? It might just be the future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Let's give it a go. Oh man, this is definitely the big one. Okay, the future stares back. Unauthorized personnel prohibited beyond this point. Uh-oh. I hope we're authorized because I'm going through. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. It might be Gramps. Fight your way to the exit. Oh no. Go check it out, Agent 3. Not so fast. Oh, is it deep cut again? It is. You're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. We're not after treasure, we're after Gramps. Ugh, you wanna resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Eels, get your wiggly butts out here. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's this guy, the Eel Deal Fry. Whoa. Up, up, up. Let's dance. Oh my gosh. So we're actually facing off with the idols in this game, which is pretty crazy. Ready or not, here we come. Because Pearl, Marina, Kai, Miru, they were sort of always our friends, but here, these guys are our enemies. First dance, steal downpour. Oh no. So I'll try my best to stay back for now, but I guess we gotta splat away these eels. Oh, some of them are getting launched. Come on, I got most of them. Hey, take your hits like an eel. Don't fly them, don't fly back at me. Uh, so what do we do with this? Maybe I can rev up the fan? Uh, oh, hey, if you beat up the mass eels, something happens, yeah. Uh, oh, I gotta climb up. Oh, I'm so silly. I forgot how this works. Uh, third dance, 100 eel vision. Don't worry, though, we sort of figured it out. Now I can just try to take on these eels wherever they are. Uh, oh, don't hit me. Okay, here's our chance again. So yeah, do that and then climb up. Oh, here we go. Make those eels squeal. Wow, the captain is fired up. Okay, so that worked out pretty well, but we're not quite done. All right, all right, not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Oh, I get it. Now watch this. Okay, so we're gonna have to splat around a little bit. Second dance, more a whirlpool. Whoa. Whoa, 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 they're coming out a little bit farther now. Jeez, one more, one more. There it is. Wait, no, there actually is one more. Gotcha. Got a refill on ink real quick, but then, God, you threw my whole balance off. I can get it this way, no problem. That's it. Oh, you're in trouble. Now's your chance. We did it. 
Okay, come on, one more phase, right? Hey, you think you can treat my eels like shrimp? Wrong, nah! All you did was wake us up! I'm firing it up, Moray power! Okay, final dance, great Moray transformation. Oh my gosh, you get the Moray eels, whoa, wait a minute! Wait, it didn't work, my slam! What? I feel cheated, my slam didn't work at all! Looks like you'll stay down after you defeat them. Take out as many as you can, I tried to! Oh, and I'm back to the second dance? Oh, that stinks. Oh, did that still count? I guess so, I hit them again. Grr, you're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. Bet you'll miss me, ha! So I guess I just had to hit them again no matter what. It didn't have to be that extra phase. That was a little weird for sure, but either way, we defeated Fry. Interesting. So are we just heading over here? What is this thing? Oh, the reading was coming from this thing. Well, we fought for it, snap it anyway. Grab. What is this? The future stairs back completed. And we got whatever it is. It almost looked like the body of like a motorcycle or something. Hard to make out. Ooh, that was some great work, Agent 3. And you got this thing, but not Gramps. It's treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. I really do think it's a piece of like a bike or something. Copy, do copy, over. It's Gramps. Anyone listening, do you read me? Over. It's Gramps. Gramps, where are you right now? Callie, Marie, my darlings, you're okay. Yep, we're A-OK. -okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? Oh sure, I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out, over. Don't do anything too rash, we're tracking your signal right now and then on, and on our way. Call us if anything happens. Woo, I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from the, his signal. Agent three, if you want to go back to the previous kettle, just open the menu, it might be useful at some point. So yeah, I don't have to jump around the whole thing. This is definitely the body of a bike of some sort. Maybe we'll get more pieces of it at some point? Interesting. Oh, so we're way back here at the first island. So let's talk to you two. Where'd you meet Small Fry, by the way? I have no clue, he was just there. Just so you know, the captain's kinda shy. Don't take the silence personally, no worries. You'll need plenty of Sardinian to upgrade your gear, so keep an eye out for it. Yep, and that's actually what I wanna go back and do is explore more of the second site, and hopefully, if there's anything left to find, we can sort of stumble upon it, because there's at least two more things around here. But then we also need to open up the area, so there's a couple more things we need to do for sure. Let's jump over. So that's pretty cool. You know, just pretty simple just to jump over like that. And here we are. Very cool, so. Where was it that the game was trying to say, I do have something to find? So small fry should pop out if there is anything, I would hope. Sometimes they take their time. So we'll look around a little bit and maybe we can find it on our own. Oh, I think I just found it just by throwing it. Okay, there we go. So that's gonna be some power eggs for us, which you know, isn't too crazy, but it's worth finding all that stuff. So there's one over here as well. I'm just gonna jump over like that. And hopefully, once again, we can find it together. But, I'd guess it's probably somewhere like this. But as long as small fry is out, you'd think that would make a difference. Oh, here we go, here we go. Did you find it, buddy? Yes, you did. So, I'm gonna bust that open and that'll be some more power eggs. So at this point, unless there's more to find in this area, which there isn't, I think we've cleared out all the levels and all the collectibles too. So, we did a great job in today's episode clearing everything out. I want to run over this way real fast and see if we, yeah, we, we have enough points. Let's break this open. Ready, boom. So there we have it. That is going to be uh, quite a lot covered up, or uncovered really. I do wanna make sure we have all these different map pieces sort of figured out just in case, but I think we're really sort of figured out with most of it. Yeah, very interesting that we were able to fight a deep cut member in this game. Like I said, that's a lot different than what we're used to. So before we finish with today's episode, of course, I wanna check out our next Alterna log over this way. Log 002, the rise of civilization again. 
With surviving humans appointed scientists to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these scientists took on the monumental task of establishing a sustainable ecosystem within the cavern. They dubbed this new society Alterna, and began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. So that's what this area under all of the Splatoon stuff is, is when the humans tried to rebuild their civilization. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations. This allowed them to recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to inevitably record, or indelibly record, all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require some sort of record keeper, a computer that would can aut autonomously observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with the development of Orca, also known as the omniscient recording computer of Alterna. So that's what we've been talking to and who's been putting us on all of these missions has been Orca. Interesting how the story is tying together. So that is really, really neat. So we are pretty good to go. Next episode, we'll be tackling site three and whatever challenges it has in store for us. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.